Hey YouTube, today we're going to be looking at this little TIG Torch package I got. It's going to go on the AHP 160ST, which is that little lunchbox welder I got a little while ago. I want to try out the TIG functionality, but unfortunately it doesn't come with a torch package. So uh, keep that in mind when you're buying that welder. It does stick welding right out of the box. All you need is the electrodes. Um, those don't cost much. But this um, torch itself costs around $120. You can get them online anywhere from $80 to, you know, obviously $120 or possibly more. Um, thing to note with this is it uses a smaller 25 DINs connector um, mail package right here. And then another thing to note is the gas line itself is built into the torch. The Alpha 160ST does not have a built-in um, gas input. So you have to connect the torch itself to the gas bottle directly. And the way you do that is with this 5 ace connector, it connects into the your flow meter on your argon bottle and then flows all the way into the torch here at the you know at the input piece and then comes out at the torch end. So just keep that in mind when you're buying that welder. Um, you know, it's the welder itself is 220, I think, right now at Amazon without shipping. The shipping's another $30. So, you know, if you're just doing stick welding, it's a great value, but if you want to do TIG welding, um, this is another cost you're going to have to add in, along with any consumables, you know, gas lenses, whatever else you want on there. So just keep that in mind. It's a great pack, great um, value right out of the box at 220 but as you start adding all these little accessories on there, it starts adding up and it comes almost in line with some of the Everlast welders, which, you know, I don't have any experience with those, but people seem to like them as well. So. Um, the price difference between them at that point isn't, you know, hugely significant, it's probably $50, and those come with a lot of the accessories you need, so just keep that in mind. Um, so after I ordered this online, uh, well, one thing is, after I ordered it online, you know, it came with all these little accessories, um, obviously your gas, the uh, caps, the uh, cups, um, some tungsten in there you can see, um, some collets, everything you need basically to get started. Uh, as I started watching some YouTube videos, you know, everyone's recommending getting the gas lens kits. So after this was already on its way, I decided, all right, well, let me go ahead and do that. And I had ordered these online. And what this is, is if you notice here, let me do a comparison real quick. So this is the standard gas output. I don't want to call these. I just, I'll just call it a lens. Uh, this is a gas lens. Uh, the gas actually comes out of these little holes here and kind of flows down through the end of the torch. Um, apparently it's not the most, it's not the best way to deliver gas when welding from what everyone's saying. Um, I guess it works, obviously, if they're providing these. The gas lens itself has this little micro mesh on there that kind of, it's like the mesh on your, on your faucet. It makes the water come out a little bit, you know, smoother and cleaner. Well, not cleaner, but at least a little bit smoother. Um, so I think the same concept applies here. So, you know, after ordering this package, obviously I said, okay, well, let's go ahead and do this. So I obviously didn't need to order such an expensive package if I'm not going to use most of this, which was my fault. So just an FYI, guys, if you're going to do this, you know, look for a torch. If you're going to get the gas lens kits, you don't need all this other stuff except for maybe the, the back cap. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this together. Oh, one thing to note also is... This, these gas lenses don't fit any of this other stuff here. Um, the only thing that probably fits is the collet. Uh, the cups don't fit. That's a different size cup that you need. You also need this little spacer, which is a piece of plastic apparently and costs $5 for some reason. I have no idea why. This costs $2 and this is ceramic, but I'm not going to complain anymore. <laughs> um, so you get these. I'll throw this out of the way. What you do now is basically take off this little end piece. And when you put this together once, so I'm going to try to do it on, on camera so everyone can see. Take your cap, you'll need this. Oh, you'll also need the size tungsten that you're going to work with, which I'm going to use the 1 16th in this case, which is the thicker one. And I'm going to need a collet. I'm going to need the right collet too. So let me see if I can find the 1 16th collet. As you guys can see, it's marked right there. I think that's 1 16th. Yep. So it's right there on the on the collar. So what we'll do now is, this is the way I put it together because um, the first time I had some issues. Um, so basically I screw in the back cap. 
And I'll do this most of the way. Take the gas lens and try not to drop your collet like I do. You know, go ahead and put that in the collar end. Um, I'll put my tungsten to so I'll screw it. Oops. See, I've already messed up. Take your spacer that you paid five dollars for. Um, and the tapered end will go towards um, this end right here. So I'll go ahead and put that in. And one thing you're going to note is this thing's going to be really loose. And that freaked me out at first, but you'll see why. It's supposed to, I think it's supposed to be that way, and it'll tighten up as you as you get uh, as you put this on. So one thing to do is, you know, well, first thing, make sure your tungsten sticks out a little and you'll see why in a sec. So go ahead and screw on your cup. And just hand tighten her, you know, it doesn't need to be super tight. So, you know, since we have the back cap on and this is tight, obviously this tungsten's not going to move anywhere now, but this is way too long and it's not sharpened, so I still have to sharpen this. But loosen up your back cap, then adjust this as needed, and once you've got it to the right position, just tighten this up, and you should be all ready. And forgot to mention on this torch, this is how you control the gas. Basically it's this little nozzle. You have to manually do this so when you're ready to start welding, you open this up, you know, do your weld. When you're done, turn off your gas. Otherwise, you're not going to have any gas for your next weld <laughs> when it runs out. So, that's about it. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, this cost a $120 and you can get them from 80 to 120 depending on if you want the kits and all this stuff. But Keep that in mind when buying the 160 ST. It doesn't come with this torch, so this is an added cost for you guys that want to do TIG. If you're just doing fine with stick welding, don't worry about this. Um, you know, the welder works great right out of the box. And what I'm going to go try to do is I'll go ahead and sharpen this tungsten, um, clean up a piece of steel, and we'll go ahead and try to do some mild steel TIG welding. So this will be interesting. I'm sure it's going to be probably as bad if not worse than my stick welding attempts so we'll go ahead and try that anyway we'll talk to you later